guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the very highly requested closet clean out. This is much, much needed. After all the outfit videos that I've been filming recently, I realized that I just desperately need to clean out my closet. So that's what we're doing today. I know I have a bunch of clothes in here that I can donate, I can um, sell them, and I can like store some of them too. I don't always keep like all of my clothes in my closet. Like if it's summer, I won't have like my winter clothes in here or anything. I'll have them like put away in like a bin or something. And I currently have a bunch of winter clothes in my closet right now and it is so hot like it's even hot in my room right now like I'm almost sweating but anyways I know I have just a bunch of stuff that I can donate to like Goodwill or something and then you guys have also been really wanting me to start a Depop I don't know if I'll be selling on Depop though just because I have no idea how to use it or anything I did make one though just in case so if you guys want to follow that in case I do end up selling things I'll have the username right here and I'll have it in the description too it's funny I didn't even like shout it out or anything but you guys have already been following it probably from the 20 outfits video or maybe the Brandy Melville one too. A lot of you guys want me to sell things from the Brandy Melville video. Anyways, I don't want this intro to be too long because I have a feeling this is going to take a very long time. It's probably going to be multiple days of filming, so I don't know. We'll see, but let's just get right into it. Okay, I'm going to move you guys back here because what I'm going to do first is just take everything out, set it all on my bed, and then I'm going to organize it into piles. Also, don't judge me. I'm wearing my comfy outfit, just shorts and a t-shirt because I'm trying to be comfortable while I'm doing this. This is going to literally take so long. Everything is coming out of here. Like, not just like clothes, like anything that is even in my closet is coming out. I'm also going to be taking off my doors so it's just like easier to like see everything. Oh shoot, I didn't do it before. I didn't do a before clip. Oh my god. Okay, well, these clothes are going back in. <laughs> good thing I left them on the hangers. All right, we're good. All those clips are done. I low-key just exposed myself because my closet is disgusting, but it's okay. We're gonna fix that, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, I literally look so stupid right now. I have shorts on, I promise. I think I'm gonna start taking the doors out right now. They're very heavy. Oh my god. Where am I even gonna put these? I don't wanna hit the fan. All right, now for the other one. Why are these so heavy? Oh my gosh, you guys. It looks so weird. I have them over here. This is weird. It feels like my hallway is just like so much bigger than it is. It looks like my entire room is just huge. My closet even looks weird now. I am not used to seeing it like this at all. All right, let's actually get started this time. Oh my goodness, this is like almost overwhelming. It's disgusting in here. Like just this little area right here is the worst part. Like the rest of it isn't even that bad, but oh my, I don't even wanna get into that. Oh God, I'm dropping things. Part and I will talk to you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, I'm back. I took everything out. I don't think you guys are ready to see what my room looks like. Oh my god. I'm, I almost don't even want to show you. Here's the thing that had all my shoes on it and stuff. Here are all my shoes and my Bath and Body Works stuff, which I will probably all be throwing away. Here's all of my clothes. That's gonna need to change. We're gonna be getting rid of a lot of those. I have like a basket of school stuff over there and some backpacks, just some bags, then some shoes and some more clothes that didn't fit in my closet before I started filming this video. I had a beach ball in my closet. Don't ask me why. Also, this was in my closet. It's the stand for my keyboard, which is right here. Oh my gosh. And then my closet, it looks so weird. I have never seen it like this before and this is the cleanest it will ever be because there's absolutely nothing in it. All right, I'm gonna vacuum the inside of my closet really quick because I'm never gonna get the chance to do that again. So might as well, we're gonna do that now. I'm vacuuming. I should probably do like my shoes and stuff and everything that goes in like this corner first because the clothes are gonna take so long and I need space to actually make the piles and stuff so I don't know. I can barely even see the ground right now in my room so I should probably just do the other stuff first. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I've made a little bit of a dent in what my room looks like, but um, we still have all this to take care of, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna just start sorting things into piles. So one of the piles is gonna be just like keep and put back in my closet. One of them is going to be move, so that's probably gonna be mostly winter clothes. And then one to sell and one to donate. I'm gonna make four piles. We're gonna see how this goes. Hello everyone. 
everybody. So it's now day two of filming. I took a little day in between as a break. Let me just show you guys what's been going on. I'll update you guys with what I've done in the past like day or two. So the closet doors are back on. Don't mind my slippers. And then over here is the stuff that is still not in my closet. So there were a ton of hangers that were left over. So I need to find something to do with those. And then I kind of organized my little piles. Yesterday all of this stuff was spread across my entire floor it seemed like. My room was getting super messy so last night I just could not take it anymore and I decided to organize the piles and just make them a little bit neater. So this pile is my cell pile I think. I'll probably go through and show you guys everything that's in that pile. However I am still not completely sure if I'm gonna be selling all of those. Again I have no idea how to use Depop so if I can figure it out I'll sell things on there. Next up we have this pile. There's just a bunch of stuff in this pile that I need to move that I couldn't find any room for in my actual closet. So these are gonna have to go in a different room. Next up, we have a pile of things that I'm gonna be donating. These are just things that I don't wanna sell, but they're good enough quality to be donated. And then right here, these were just on the top shelf of my closet. Yeah, these are definitely getting thrown away. I never wear these, and I think I only got them for something for school where I had to have black shoes when I was little or something. I doubt these even fit me anymore. They also have a hole in them. And then in here, I have some red heels for my Halloween costume this year. I guess technically it was last year, but I was Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. I'm gonna put all of the shoes that I wear most often in the bottom right here. I don't know why, but I always do that. And then the rest of my shoes go on the other side. I think I'm gonna show you guys what's in this pile now. All right, first of all, this white butterfly top. I made this in a video actually, and I really like it. I just don't wear it. I'm gonna be selling this pink top. I mainly just bought it because it's my school colors, but I am not going back to school. Next up are these shorts, and they have like a little tie right here. These are cute. They're just not really my style. I never really wear them. I don't think I've actually ever worn them before, so they're brand new. I have this dress from Zaho, I think. It's really cute. It just doesn't fit me that well. I'm short, so it's kind of long on me. I have this USA Brandy shirt. I have this matching set. These are the bottoms, and then in the back, it's like stretchy, so um, it's really comfy. And then the top is like off the shoulder. It's really cute. Again, just not my style, and I don't wear it. I think I wore it once, literally, to my sister's graduation because my sister is a genius and she has her PhD. Just like to brag about her sometimes because that is crazy. She is so accomplished at such a young age. Next up we have this wrap dress from Brandy Melville. This is what it looks like like not tied or anything. I'm literally putting it on over the top that I have right now so you can see it, what it would look like. If I tied it here is what it would look like. Sorry you can't really see it. It's really cute but I can't remember the last time I wore it. Let's see next up. Oh these used to be my favorite pair of jeans. This is what they look like. They're from PacSun and then at the bottom they kind of fray a little bit and they have these really cute denim patches. I used to wear these all the time. The only thing is one of the belt loops is like loose but it still works completely fine. It's just not sewn at the bottom right there but it's still sewn like right there if that makes sense. So it can still hold a belt. These I kind of grew out of. They're just like really tight on me and they're like mid-rise which I am not a huge fan of. I used to be but I'm not anymore. I have this top from um I think PacSun. It's just leopard print and it is so so cute. I just don't wear it very often and I figured someone else should have it so sadly I'm selling this it's so adorable this is what the back looks like and then it just has ties for the straps and sadly the last thing that I'm selling I really don't want to sell but these don't fit me they are these brand new jeans from Princess Polly they're so so cute they're just a little bit too small for me I am usually a size like 25 in jeans like the waist and I can like barely breathe in these so if you're a size like 23 24 these would probably fit you really well. They are so, so cute. They're amazing, amazing quality. But yeah, they're really cute. And I am sad I have to sell them. So that's everything that I am potentially selling. I think I'm gonna organize a few more things in my closet. I'm gonna try to find some places for those um, like sweaters and stuff that I was gonna move. I need to put some shoes back in my closet, figure out what to do with those hangers, and then I will give you guys a closet tour. Dream, I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I spit that on a necklace. 
I told God I'll be back in a second Man, it's so hard not to act reckless To whom much is given, much is tested Get arrested, guess until he get the message I feel the pressure under more scrutiny all right, so here is what it looks like all done. I'm gonna start out with the top up here. Before, this bin did not have much in it, but I put all my sweaters in there so they would take less space at the bottom. I also have just a shoebox stacked on top of it and then my old comforter. Moving on to this section, I just have it organized by color and all of the shirts that are on the top section right here are all just like somewhat cropped and like shorter shirts. These have always fit well with my laundry basket right here so they're not like hanging in the basket. And then over here, I have all of my pants. Not much has changed on the top. Just got rid of a few things and organized it a little bit better. Now on the bottom, there is more of a difference. So first of all, I organized it a little bit different. Over here in this first section, I have all of my hangers. And then right here, just in this section right here, is all of my like t-shirts that are longer. And these are also organized by color. Probably doesn't look like it because I don't have that many of each color except for maybe like the pink and yellow. And then right here, starting at this shirt, is all of my long sleeves. These are also organized by color. These are a little bit more like tucked away and harder to access than these shirts and then these up here because since it's now getting hotter, these are the clothes that I'm going to be wearing the least. Same with the jeans. Also, if you're wondering where my shorts are, they're in a dresser folded. They're not in my closet, but I do own shorts. And then down here, you guys already saw, I have the shoes that I wear most often. This is just definitely cleaner and more organized than before because before there were just a bunch of shoes thrown in a pile, but now it's nice and neat and there's only three pairs out. All right, moving on to the other side of my closet. Up here, I just have some shoes that I don't wear very often. Again, more things that I would usually wear in winter and then some heels right here. Now, in this little section right here, I have all of my like winter coats kind of and then right here, I have all of my nicer sweatshirts that I would rather have hung up so they don't get like wrinkled or something. And then just in this tiny little section right here, I have all of my dresses which you can hardly see. I don't wear them very often. And then right here, it may not look super organized to you guys, but this is probably the most drastic difference in my closet. I got rid of a bunch of shoes, and then instead of having this thing on the top, I moved it down here, so it's more just kind of tucked away. I have all of my vans on this shelf, I have my workout shoes, and then a couple pairs of heels, and then I had some extra space on top, so I have my school backpack, which I will probably never use again, and then some purses and mini backpacks. This little basket, I don't really know how to explain it, it's just full of some random stuff that I don't know where to put, including this little owl that my friend got me for Christmas. And then on the side right here is the same. It's just my keyboard. All right, guys. So that was my entire closet clean out. It may not look super different to you guys, but for me, it's just easier to find things. There's a lot less just like clutter. One last thing I want to say before I end the video. Um, I'm really close to 300,000 subscribers. It is currently Thursday, April 30th, and I'm at 298,485. And it is possible that by the time this is uploaded, I will have reached 300,000. Thousand. And I just want to say thank you guys truly from the bottom of my heart. Just thank you for everything This channel has changed my life in so many ways that you guys will never know um, But it's made me happier. It's helped me just be a more outgoing person Just say more of what's on my mind be more assertive. It's taught me business skills It's given me so many opportunities. It's helped me make friends online that I never would have made otherwise It kind of also taught me what I want to do with the rest of my life if you guys don't know for college I'm gonna be going to Cal State State LA and majoring in film, which I'm super excited about. Side note, I'm completely aware that YouTube and film are two extremely different things, but it's just kind of helped me realize like my passion for it. Um, but yeah, this channel has just changed my life in so many ways. I had wanted to start a YouTube channel for the longest time before this, but in fifth grade, I like, that's when I really, really, really wanted to. And ever since then, it's been like a very big thing for me that I had wanted to do. And I always told myself, once you're out of high school, once you're like going to college, just start a YouTube channel because then you'll never have to see anyone from high school ever again and it won't be embarrassing going back to school or anything and I just let the opinions of other people hold me back for so so long until um, like November of 2018 I was just like I don't care anymore like I don't care what people think this is what I want to do this is what I wanted to do for the longest time so all of November and December I was just like watching a ton of YouTube videos teaching myself how to edit saving up for a camera just doing all these things to 
like prepare myself and I wanted to start my YouTube channel in the new year um, as soon as I got my camera and I uploaded my first video I think like December 27th or something so I always say like I started my channel at the very beginning of 2019 because literally it's like a few days away from January 1st you know also I'm not including my piano videos in this that's like totally different for me that was when I was still scared to start a YouTube channel and I refused to show my face on camera or talk on camera or anything because I was too embarrassed thankfully I grew out of that sorry for the little rant I just wanted to tell you guys how thankful I am your constant support and just kindness has just kept me going through it all having a YouTube channel is not easy but you guys have made it a whole lot easier so thank you so on that note I think I'm just gonna end the video here if you watched up until this point comment what your birthday is I kind of want to see if any of you guys have the same birthday as me if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe it would really help me out thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys Thank you.